Hey guys, I'm back. I am Dr. Kenesha Frazier. I'm a pharmacist by trade and I sell online, now exclusively on eBay. So as I say, eBay is my main bay now. Uh, it was actually too much to sell on so many platforms for me and work a full-time job in the hospital during COVID. It's, it was just too much. And I was like, you know what? My words for the year are intentional focus. And that's what I wanted to do is just intentionally focus on reselling and just do it on one platform. So today we're doing an unboxing for ThreadUp. Uh, ThreadUp is basically just a company where people send them their clothes and what they'll do is that they sell those items online or you can buy mystery boxes from them. And that's what we have today, a women's mixed clothing mystery box. So I have not opened it, which is really surprising because it came on my doorstep Sunday night. So the fact that I even waited this long is bananas because it's like Christmas morning to me, okay? Because I'm actually just getting started with reselling and I love garage sales, antique stores, yard sales, estate sales. I'm like, I love just seeing like how you can actually make something that's has older memories for somebody else. You can make those things new again. So what's old is new again. Mm, I kind of love that, you know, really treasure hunting and unusual finds, that kind of thing. So we're going to get started. I'm going to grab my scissors and go ahead and open this box. Oh, and if you have not like, comment, subscribe, that would be so great since I'm just getting started with this channel. And I know everybody has a channel now, so. <laughs> Everybody's into the YouTube fun. So, my little thread up receipts tell me what I received. So, this box is about $60 and they give you about 25 pieces. So, that's mm, give or take like a little over $2 for each item. So, I'm going to show you probably about 10 items. It was probably, it'll probably be a, like a four part series because I have two boxes of 25 items each. And I don't wanna keep you guys on here longer than 10 minutes per video, okay? So let's get started. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, goodness. It's hard too because they fold it all nice in here so it doesn't get wrinkled. So you hate to make it all up. Oh, they sent me underwear. <laughs> oh, they're new underwear and they're free people underwear. So that's kind of, a, no wait, it's not underwear. I don't know what this is, but it is free people. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's a little hard to see. Free people. Um, I don't know what this is. Medium, large, royal, blue, something. Intimately free people. Maybe it's one of those, I don't even know what you call that. I should know what that's called, but one of those bras that just go straight across like a, like a strapless bra, because it has elastic in it. Honey, I don't know what you do with this, but free people is a very good brand. Um, from what I've heard, it doesn't sell as well as it used to but it's a good brand and it was a medium large and that beautiful cobalt blue i have no idea what it is so hopefully somebody out there will be able to tell me what it is oh i don't know okay i should i should really take these out in some kind of like organized fashion so okay i'm gonna do like 10 items and then we're gonna keep it moving let's see it's hard to get these oh oh wow they sent me some kind of dress that has like that organza or something like that kind of fabric over it. It's a beautiful purple. It's actually the same purple as the flower I have in my hair, which is really interesting. Um, who's it by? Jenny Yu Collection. Oh, it looks like it might actually, it looks like it's actually new. I don't know if I've heard of Jenny Yu though. Jenny Yu collection size 10. I don't know if you can see that. Um, 
and these actually might be backwards. So I'm sorry. So hopefully I can easily be heard. I will get that together if it is backwards. My bad. Everybody will get over it. <laughs> but I'll figure it out, okay? Um, so this beautiful, like, lavender purple sweetheart neckline dress is beautiful. So if people are actually leaving their homes, it's got a few little small snags, it looks like. So that could be kind of an issue. But I don't know, maybe we'll see. Maybe that's why it never sold because it has a few snags in it. But maybe, just maybe it's an expensive dress and someone will want it. What time is it? Six minutes already, so I better make it going. Stop yapping. Democracy, a 2X. It's a great size and it's a beautiful color. It's like a, tur a dark, rich turquoise and it's actually new with tags. See that? I don't know if you can see that 2X. But the, that's the label. And then it actually has, it's a very interesting shirt. Someone will really like this for this like spring, summertime. It's almost hard to even explain because it has like that crinkle look to it. If you can see that. And then at the bottom, it's almost got like a, a flower stitching at the bottom and in the back. And then it like transitions from pattern to pattern and then it has a um, tank underneath. That's pretty. Okay, what's next up is Forever 21. That is a mall brand, of course. Um, They look like they are, what size are these? U.S. small, black and white pinstriped capris with pockets. I'm like, to me, pockets always save the day, okay? That might be just me. But they are very cute. Because, I don't know, what I'm starting to find is that even though I get some brands that aren't, um, like... I don't even know, like some of the more expensive St. John collection or, you know, upscale um, Black Label J. Crew and all these things, they still sell. And especially on eBay, even if it's an older, like, a, I would say like an older or more mature aged brand, let's say, or more mature aged item, people still buy those items. So it's like, I want you guys not to be afraid to resale just because, you know, what you sell is not trendy. Because Poshmark, what I did find is that it was a lot more trendy. And I'm like, my, <laughs> me as a person, I don't know if I would consider myself trendy. I'm just someone that I enjoy what fits and what looks good and what colors look good on me. And I just wear them. I'm like, it fits, it looks good. I'm like, what's the problem? Whether it's trendy or not is, you know, not a part of my thing. This is, looks like it has some, I'm like, what? Well, triangles. And then a four-sided geometric. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? Oh, don't, don't get me to not tell the truth, okay? I'm like, it's late, it's like 10.30 at night, and I'm like, I, I can't think of the name. You can tell me in the comments, I can't think. Yeah, I can't think of the geometric that is a four, quad something, 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 whatever. But it's a black double zoo. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is a size, what, I don't know. Somewhere in here probably tells me. A lot of times some of the um, tags and things are on the side pocket or they're in the side of the item. I took off my glasses, so 
You guys wouldn't see the rings in my glasses, but it's a zip up too. And so black and cream, and it looks like it's cropped. Cropped is really in right now. And then you see that like kind of balloon sleeve there. It's really in right now. So it'll probably sell. Although maybe it's a small, I'll have to figure out what size it is. How many items is that? Anybody else counting? One, two, three, four, probably five. It's already been 10 minutes. All right, let's go. Oh, Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher, a lot of people are saying it's a little hit or miss right now. Eileen Fisher Large. Um, they are black loungewear pants, which everybody is still at home. So these, I can't see why these wouldn't sell. They are, I'm trying to see if they are, I don't know if you can see those. I'm trying to see if they're skinny leg. They're a little skinny leg, I think. Um, but they are just some plain loungewear pants, but pants black with that um, stretch elastic waist size large. Um, I think I showed you guys already, right? Oh, and I'm about to tip over the ring light. <laughs> um, yeah, so these will sell probably pretty well though. Somebody will want these and they're in a great size. I'm finding too that, um, so like, let's say, okay, first pants, like you really do have to look, like I've learned that along the way from other resellers, that you really do, oof, my feet are starting to hurt, um, have to look in the area around the, see like I didn't even notice until now, around the area where your thighs rub together. I don't know if you can see that, but there's wear there. I might, I actually just ordered a sweater shaver Sorry for my big fro in the camera. Um, this might take care of that because they look like they're still in good condition and somebody can still enjoy wearing them around the house during COVID. But yeah, it's good to look in this area right where your thighs rub together to see what that looks like. And then like jeans, you always want to look at the hem too to kind of see like are they frayed and people just enjoy that? Cause you know, the frayed distress look for the jeans is really in, but still sometimes it's a little too much, okay? Let's see, I keep going over this beautiful green skirt. This is, what is it called? The Kelly green, I think. Oh, Eloquii, okay. I didn't even know if that's how you pronounce it. E-L-O-Q-U-I-I by the limited 24W, but that is a fabulous size, okay? So like plus sizes really do sell well. This is a beautiful skirt. It's got a kick pleat in the back. And I'm like a nice blazer, like a nice, beautiful, really a black or white blazer with like a, um, man, maybe a black and white pinstripe shirt underneath or something like that and black pito. I mean, you could slay in this beautiful green skirt for sure. Okay, I think we are almost there. Uh, Banana Republic. These boxes come full of Banana Republic. So it's to the point where like Banana Republic and J. Crew, I barely even purchase in the store anymore. This is a Banana Republic Dylan shirt, extra, extra small. It is cute, black and white pinstripe. So like these smaller sizes, I stopped really purchasing all that much because unfortunately they don't swap, they don't sell as quickly. And then Banana Republic and J. Crew, it's in such supply that you can find it anywhere all the time. And so if I'm unable to go out, like say during um, the pandemic, you're unable to go out, you can get these boxes delivered to you, but they're always full of Banana Republic and J. Crew. So when you actually get to go out and thrift, and go to the garage sales and the thrift stores and the estate sales, you don't necessarily want to pick those um, up. You want to just go ahead and find some different kinds of items and different brands. This is Ann Taylor, 100% cotton, actually dry clean only. This is perfect for spring. Beautiful pink. Pink is really in right now. I've been doing a little bit of research here and there to see what's in. And so it's got this beautiful V-neck. This would be great for and probably like an a line right so let's say a graduation or um well i don't know if you would wear it for a wedding per se but you could easily 
some nice shoes, nice little cardigan. Keep it moving, but definitely a nice graduation. Okay, that's about 10 items. I think I'm gonna stop there. So that is the first part of our Thread Up unboxing. So little one, part one. Please come back. So please like, comment, subscribe, and come back for part two. Once again, I am Dr. Kanisha Frazier, and I appreciate you guys joining me. Come back. Bye.